points here at the Thompson Blow Stadium. It's Zimbabwe 2, Namibia, no. Now, Mopeti, with the pass of the day, really. Mopeti, who really influenced uh, this match in terms of the attacker and being the general in terms of creation, doing ever so well to find the Nechamba for the very first goal of Zimbabwe, giving them the lead and the belief. Beautifully squeezed in, and uh, still so much to do in the uh, finish. And they were well on their way then, Zimbabwe. And, well, there were moments of luck when the bounce spun in their favour. It spun in the favour and we got to see a colourful Cynthia Shonga pull off an acrobatic save coming from behind to just steal it in the air and smother it. And the second goal, special. Absolutely special in the 58th minute. It was Mube uh, Nobugazi making sure that uh, she too gets onto the score sheet. Lovely floated ball, dipping at the right moment and keeping the keeper no chance. Melissa Matea is beaten by some wonderful set of attack. Should have scored three here. With uh, Mubeti, who's so deserving of a second of the tournament. Well, getting it wrong then, quite crucially. In my opinion, it was Mopeti for me who put her hand up for lady of the match and uh, unfortunately not able to end. Could be a chance coming up here, but to the angle of that pass, it uh, didn't allow the player to run onto it. The eventual shot is... When you look at those groups in Group A, Malawi, Swatini and South Africa, no. it doesn't look good. Pace. And the one-on-one, -on -one. she's done well, she's done superbly well. As uh, the lady coming in off the bench, Mopeti. Cut across the defender, across the goal. It's a young, a privileged Mupeti. It's, it's almost from the halfway line. Yeah, quick. Smart here in a decision to go to that right side and cut across the defender and open it up for herself quite nicely, that angle. For a moment here is where I thought she had lost it because keeper came out, made herself big, but...